It's Brazilian guy. Yeah. <laughs> He's here. Hey. All right. I wish. Eu sou brasileira também. No, no English. English. <laughs> oh, oh, okay, okay. I'm I'm Brazilian. <laughs> <laughs> I'm learning English because of my job. I need to study more. And how about you, Vitor? I'm learning English because I'm going to be a English teacher. I'm studying for it. I started learning English because of Harry Potter. <laughs> Kian know it. <laughs> yeah. So that's all. I'm from Bahia. How do you spell? What's it used for? What's the opposite? What's the plural? We have acronyms. The name of my country, USA. Okay. That's yeah. an acronym because each letter represents a word, United States of America. But we don't say it like that. We just say USA. Uh, I, I choose how do you spell? Okay. For how much money? 600. 600? Uh, 600. 600 is more hard. 100 is more easy. So 600. The word is receipt. You can type in the chat how you spell it. Oh, repeat that, please. All right. <laughs> I'll use it in a sentence. I went shopping with my friend today, and when I bought the thing that I was purchasing, the clerk gave me a receipt that said how uh, much receipt. money I spent. A receipt. Receipt. Um, receipt. Receipt. Exactly. And that tells you how much you paid and what you bought after you buy something. Okay, uh, maybe it's R E C. Oh my god! So far, so <laughs> good. So far, so good. Um, e. Yeah. A. No. 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 <laughs> eh, try try typing it. Maybe it's easier. Do you know this one, Victor? I would rather to try an easy one. <laughs> <laughs> Receipt. Okay. Do you, Do you want to try it though, just to try and see if you can steal her? Steal her answer. R C I T R E C I T, like this. No, I'm gonna type. Okay, type it. Let's let's see what you got, Victor. Okay, this one's hard. This one is so hard. Hesichi. <laughs> Receipt. Okay, so the correct spelling is like this. Whoa. Um. Receipt. There's a P, but you don't say it. Receipt. We don't say it. We just say receipt. No P, but you spell it with a P. Okay, <laughs> Victoria, your turn to choose a new category, new amount of money. What's it used for? Okay, what's it used for? How much? 200. An axe. And I can write this for you because you don't have to know how to spell it. Axe. Oh. Do you know I what this never... is? No. Never? Three. Hey, do you know what? You don't know what this one is, Esther? Me either. Okay. <laughs> Do you want to guess? Can you use a uh, phrase? Well, then you know what it is. Can you hand me the axe? Can you give me the axe? <laughs> I, I need the axe. This is how you hold an axe, like this. <laughs> I'm going to chop down a tree with this axe. Do you get it? Okay, so an axe is like, um, I don't know the word in Portuguese, but it's like a tool that you use to cut a tree. You know, when you want to take down a tree, it's like, bah, bah. Like a like a lumberjack. Uh, okay, accident. Act. Accident. Yeah. Uh, okay, I got it. Okay, both of the scores are zero now. Okay. What's the opposite? What's the opposite? For, for six hundred. Six hundred again? You want to do the? Uh, okay, but I I need to do. Okay. Sorry more. Yeah, yeah, that's Sorry. fine. That's okay. That's fine. What's the opposite for six hundred? Yeah. The word is deep. 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 I'm uh, deep. I know. I know that deep. But what's the opposite? I know you want. Great. No, really. It's more. It's, if, if something's not deep, it's. <laughs> you got it. I believe in you. It's my truth. It's a a a really famous song. <laughs> oh my God! I need give me a. Uh, it starts with S. Uh, not not so. No, 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 no,
superficial. It's a synonym with this. All right. Do you want to? Do you want to give it to Victor? So when I think it's so deep, uh, the not of another thing it's superficial. No. Yes, but 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 literally, like physically, because you're thinking about like a personality, right? Like a I'm deep and you're deep. But like, think about like a pool of water. If you're standing in a pool of water, it could be deep, or the water can be not deep. <laughs> not deep. <laughs> I know. I know. Victor knows this. <laughs> All right. Tell us. Let's see. What is it? Victor? Shallow. Shallow. Do you know this one? Oh my god. You know this one. See, now you won't forget because you 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 had to think about it for so hard. You'll yeah. always remember this moment. You'll be like shallow. Shallow. Okay. I'll, I'll write it in the chat too. <laughs> I give you both 100 because you said superficial and that's a yeah. that's an even better word than shallow. It's more sh shallow <laughs> is like this what we say on a daily basis, but superficial is like if you're writing a paper for school you know, you might call something yeah. superficial. Yeah. What's the, the plural? Yeah, what's the plural? 100. House. House? Houses. Houses, exactly. Houses, houses. All right, so you have 200 and you have 100, is there? Which one would you like? What's used for? All right, what's it used for? For how much? 100. <laughs> A key. 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 Keys. Yes. For to open a door, for example. Yeah, exactly. Nice. All right. Now you both have 200. 200 all around. Congratulations. All right, Thank Victoria. You. Now what do you want to do? <laughs> what's it used for? All right. What's it used for? 200. 200. We already did that one. Yeah. That was axe. Okay. All right. 300. Yeah. Envelope or envelope. I have two ways of saying it. Envelope or envelope? To to keep things on it, like paper, documents. Is it right? It's to keep. Um, it's something that you put paper inside. So if you have a stack of paper, and you okay. wanna like, if you wanna send a mail to someone, then you put it okay, in the okay. envelope. You lick it like this. You put mm -hmm. it away. Okay. And send it. So envelope. <laughs> Do I get some um, money? Yeah, you get some money. Uh, you get three hundred. So now you're at you're at five hundred, and Esther is still yeah. at two hundred. Acronyms. Yes, acronyms. Let's do it. For how much? One hundred. All right, one hundred. Your acronym. I will write it. Is ASAP, and that is spelled A S A P. ASAP. ASAP. A S A P. And so each of those stands for a word. It's a common phrase. It's too hard for me. Too hard? How about yeah. for, you, for both of you? <laughs> oh man, but this one is 100. I'll just tell you what it means because this one is good. It means quickly. So if someone says I need something ASAP, it means as soon as possible. Does that make sense? Uh -oh. So they want you to they want yeah. you to do it now, right? As soon as you can. So I, I like something your boss might say to you, right? You're at work and maybe you have something to do. And the boss comes out to you and he says, I need this done ASAP. That means stop everything else you're doing and do this in instead. Um, is it, isn't there uh, a slang? More or less because um, there's, a lot of, there's a lot of things that we have in English that we write as slang. Like when we say IDK instead of I don't know, that's very much a slang because you don't... It's kind of rude to write that to someone because it's like you don't even have the... Instead of answering their question, you just write IDK, you know, because you don't even have the time to write out a sentence. But when you write ASAP, the, the nature of it is quick, right? It's like, I don't have time. There's no time. We need it as soon as possible. We need it now. So if you write ASAP, I think because there's that urgency, there's like you need it this moment. It, it's, it's okay to write this one like an acronym. And um, there's some other things, like if you want to write on my way, rewrite OMW, because you're driving and, you know, you're not supposed to be texting when you drive, so it's, it's more, uh, it, it's understandable if you write it. But I think, like, in academia, for example, if you write a, a research paper or something like this, you wouldn't write ASAP. You would write as soon as possible. But in work, in business, 
if your boss is sending you a message or you're sending your boss a message, this is understood. It's a common phrase. So if you write it like this, you know, it's, 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 it's a, it shows that you just, you're just trying to be quick and get your job done quickly and stuff. And you can write little things like this. So there's some things that are texting language and then other things that we have said even before cell phones. And so this thing, we started saying this before people even had cell phones. You would always say ASAP. And there's a lot of things like that in English, which is why I think this is a section, acronyms, because there's so many things that sometimes we use it like slang because it comes from texting and other things that don't come from texting that are older, those are, those are not slang. And we actually say those as, as accepted language. Does that make sense? Yeah. yeah. Sure. All right, cool. What's the opposite for 500? 500. What is the opposite of polite? Polite? Polite, yes. Polite. Rude? Ah. Yeah, exactly. 500. I say rude. 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 You, you said polite. Yeah, polite, yeah. exactly. But then I, I can say unpolite. For example, uh, impolite with an I. Impolite. So impolite, yeah. exactly. What's the plural for 300? 300. Ooh, this one's hard. Uh, it's tooth. Teeth. Can you spell it? Teeth. Uh, no, <laughs> just, just a plural. <laughs> oh, how do you spell it? Uh, T E E. Yeah. T eight. Yeah, nice. <laughs> so now you have 500. That was great. Yeah, tooth becomes teeth. Did you already know that one, Vitor? Sure. Okay. okay. Let's see. Does your friend speak English? No. Uh, oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> Can't speak English, but I don't know why I, I, I say this. This is good. It means, it means my, you're... My, uh, yeah, you're in the zone. That's what we say yeah. when you're in the zone. But if you want, we can do one more, Vitor. Vitor's winning pretty pretty hard. He's got he's got a thousand dollars. He has twice as much money as you. Yeah, I'm rich. <laughs> yeah, you're rich. English has made you rich. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna choose what's it used for? All right. Or five hundred again. An iron. Iron? Iron. Um, iron. 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 Okay. <laughs> There's a few ways to say it. Do you know what it is? <laughs> I, I, I guess I know. It's okay. used for pass clothes. To what clothes? Pass. 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 To yeah. press. Press with an R. Yeah, but to get the uh, wrinkles out, right? Because if your clothes look like this, you use yeah. the iron and then they look like this. I, I, I thought what well, it was pass because here we use pass. We, pass. we say pasta. Pasta. Uh, you pass over it. I mean, yeah, that makes sense. But we think it differently. Yeah. We press it. You know, it's like a press to make it flat. So you you use it to press your clothes because it's just right. heavy. All right. You, are you still with us, Este? 1,300 versus 500. Uh, what What's the use for 400? Four? Yeah. Okay, a drill. What is a drill used for? Oh my god! I know it. <laughs> you know it? Oh no! Oh my god! I, 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 he's I, really good, I, but I, it's, yeah, I mean, it's not, he, he's gonna be an English teacher, so he better be. He better yeah. be better than you, right? He yeah. needs to be better. It's a tool. It's a tool. <laughs> Do you know what that is? <laughs> A gun? I don't know. A gun. <laughs> it's to put screws into things. So you use it, a drill is like, you, you use it to like build things, you know, to screw things together. Ah, okay. Like that, yeah. It's, it's around for 600, not for four. <laughs> yeah. Well, the 600, I, I wonder if you guys know what the 600 is. Wait, do you want to try the 600 one, Vitor? What's it yeah, used sure. for? Then we'll be done with what's it used for. Okay. All right, for 600, okay. scissors. Okay. Scissors? Yeah, scissors. Um, it's used to cut 
cut things. Yeah, scissors. <laughs> and other things. And other things, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's used <laughs> to cut things. It's like two knives put together, basically. Yeah. All right, wow, you're so rich. So that was for 600. Now you have almost 2,000. Almost, not quite. You have 1,900. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to buy a new laptop. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I'll buy a new laptop with this. <laughs> These are U.S. dollars. <laughs> Imaginary, but, you know. Does your friend uh, want to play? <laughs> I don't know. Can you play? Yeah. Who's Logo? To know some things in English. No. No? No, no. Okay, all right. That's fine. Can you hear my friend? Yeah, I can hear him. Okay. Tell him I, hello. I tell him hi in English. Hello. Say hello. Hi, Lorena. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a, a, a girl, a guy. <laughs> <laughs> What's the opposite for 600? 600. <laughs> you already did this one. That was uh, deep and shallow, remember? So we, oh. we, we did deep and shallow. That was 600. Then 500 is polite and rude. So 400 is available. You want to do 400? We'll do... Yeah. All right. So for 400, okay. what is the opposite of the word dangerous? Oh, uh, dangerous. Safer. Yeah, safe. safe. Yeah. Exactly. Safe. safe. Very good. <laughs> All right. So now you get 400. So you have 900. He has uh, 1,900. How about... What do you say, Vitor? We give her another chance to kind of gain some money up. We'll give her two two questions in a row. All right, <laughs> Cho choose choose another one. <laughs> okay. Um, what's the plural? All right. What's the plural? Six hundred, five hundred, four hundred, two hundred. Five hundred. Five hundred. What is the plural yeah. of wife? Husband. That's the opposite. Oh, no. That's the opposite. Oh my god. <laughs> or is is it girlfriend is the opposite of wife? Oh my god. Plural. There's there's multiple. It's like Arabia. There's so many. Plural of, plural of wife. Wife. Yeah. Oh my god. Wife. I can't remember this. Oh, I'm I'm a middle class and <laughs> Vitor. Uh, uh, it's bit rich. Yeah, he's <laughs> rich. Right now he is, yeah. But he's he's giving you welfare chances to renew yeah. yourself. Okay, if okay. you can just tell him what the plural of wives are, he'll give you some of his opportunity. Okay. <laughs> Not some of his money, just some of his opportunity. That word has, has a plural. Because yeah, like if there's multiple in one room. Wave. No. <laughs> wave. Look at the wave. <laughs> All right, do you want to steal this one, Victor? Do you know this? Yeah, I, I think so. It's wives. Yeah, how do you spell it? Double I V E S. Yeah, wives. And so the same thing happens with like the word knife. Knife becomes knives. Or leaves. Yeah, leaves. leaf. Yeah, leaf becomes leaves. So if there's F in the word, um, like life, it becomes lives. You feel like you learned something? Yeah. Yeah. What you What you guys learn? Yeah. Tell me, Vitor. I've learned many things now, like some words X X. How do you say that? A X E. Yeah, X X. You know, it's. Very good to practice pronunciation and speaking because for me, it's the hardest part, but you are a great teacher, so it's easy. <laughs> uh, thank you. Yeah, you're a good student. You speak very well already. I have barely, t I've only taught you wife so far. <laughs> wives. I learned how to, how the plural of wife. <laughs> yeah, the plural of wife. That's right. <laughs> Anything and, else? Uh, and uh, about... Um, Do you know what the opposite of deep is? Shallow. Yeah, shallow. Bada bang. Shallow. All right, congratulations. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for coming, you guys. Nobody else came, so I'm glad you guys came. All right. 
Well, good night, guys. Enjoy your Saturday. Good night. <laughs> good night. Yeah. Bye. Ciao.